Well, folks, it finally happened. I'm very excited to show you guys something new that I've bought. At long last, Zippo figured out the formula and they went ahead and made this thing here. Well, you would think it's just like a regular old Zippo lighter, right? But no, 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 no. If you can read over here, this is a butane uh, uh, insert, torch insert for uh, Zippo lighters. And here it is. This is brand new out of the box. I haven't even taken it. I've really been tempted to take this thing out of here, but I haven't. And I'm going to fuel it up today for everyone to see. And we're going to take a look at it together, see what it's all about. Now, if you guys know already, I don't know if you do or do not, um, I already have a Zippo um, that has a lighter insert, which is here, a butane insert made by Vector. Oh, I was cooperating, there we go. I wasn't cooperating for a moment there. But, uh, but yeah, this one, the one that's inside this lighter is made by Vector. Oh, their nameplate got all washed out. Uh, it used to say Vector here somewhere. Um, it says Thunderbird right here, which is the model of this insert. Vector, as you guys know, is a company that makes butane lighters. If you want to see the video um, about this particular insert, I'll link it somewhere. Either, you know, I'll try to do that little thing over here, or I'll link it down below. Maybe if I could do something where you can click on the lighter itself to annotate you to the older video. But uh, we'll, we'll put this one aside. It's not about this guy. It's about this guy. Now, Zippo lighters come with a little um, wick. I'm sure you guys know this is, these are very popular. Made in the USA, in um, Bradford, Pennsylvania. And they work off of, um, they work off of using a liquid lighter like this. You put liquid, I mean lighter, liquid fluid that you put inside the um, inside these cotton wicking materials and um, that ends up you know you essentially have a little oil lamp <laughs> in your pocket now these are really cool but the one downside I've always had with Zippo lighters is the fact that if you just store this here we just leave it sitting on the shelf even when you're not using it that fuel is constantly evaporating um, which is why I was really excited to get this little um, uh, butane lighter because butane doesn't evaporate it's pressurized in here once the valve closes when this lid shuts uh, it's closed it's closed and it'll store that butane in there for I guess nearly indefinitely unless if there's like a small leak it should keep it in there now vectors have been great but when I saw the official Zippo lighter, you know, company make one, I had to get one. So let's take a look at what we have here. It says here, adjustable flame height, fits all regular Zippo lighters and cases, refillable with butane fuel, empty. So they didn't um, fill this up, of course. A single torch, and here's the, the lid, has the continuation. Let's take a look at that. When it comes out of there, come on, come on, uh, man, I folded it up. Anyways, it says here, torch, uh, all the little warnings and whatnot, disclaimers. It says here, uh, one year limited warranty. And uh, I think, I believe these guys are made in... I'm not sure if these are made in the USA or not. I know the vector inserts are not. The actual lighter itself and the original um, insert are made in USA. I don't know if these guys are. Let's see if it says it anywhere here. Oh, no, no, no. It says a genuine butane single torch lighter insert manufactured in China. You know, um, I wish it was made in the USA, but, you know, you can't have everything, I guess. Let's take that little ribbon out. Let's get it out of there. There we go. Nice. It says here, ignite away from face and clothing. Mm, okay, contains flammable gas under pressure. Do not keep lit for more than 10 seconds. Let's see if you guys can read that. Oh, that is nice and highly polished, isn't it? 
you can see the camera in there <laughs> as you guys can see yourself this is a gopro uh, okay all right it shouldn't light nope it does not let's get some fuel in there I'm not, i might fast forward this bit where i fuel it up all right that should be full now Ooh, there we go what oh okay all right so i'm gonna okay i got it all right folks now that is fully loaded i'm gonna put it into this lighter here this one is just my old it's one of the oldest ones i have from 2010 um there's one i have that is more, much older than that in the 90s but this one is one of the older ones that i carry Let's see how well it fits in here. Oh, it fits really nice. No, okay, cool. Very nice. And it lights up like this. Now, interestingly enough, this, unlike the vector, the vector goes with the original way of how the Zippo works, is where you open up the lid and it's lit. You can leave this light you know like a little candle i don't know how long of course i wouldn't recommend doing that with the vectors the original zippos you can do that too where you just li like you know you can light up the torch and it stays let's see if you can see it here see these will stay lit with the lid open but the insert doesn't work like that you have to push down on this button and as long as you have the button pressed down, it will stay lit. As soon as you let go, it shuts off like a conventional lighter. Uh, overall, I like it. I like how the, how well the cam snaps the lid shut. It's as good as these guys here. Um, so you don't have any lid wobbling. This this one has a little bit of lid wobble. I don't know if it could be this cam or it could be that this lid itself is kind of loose. I'll have to find out about that. Um, other than making a single torch lighter, Zippo makes a dual torch lighter and they also make an insert that is an electronic lighter. Now, if you guys haven't seen one of those electronic lighters, I have an example here from my, uh, my friends gave me, I think on my birthday, it's called a Saber Light. Um, this is the lid, there we go, Saber Light, very nice lighter, I think my, my friends bob and wolf gave me this here comes out like that very nice very well built and you open it up and there's a little uh, gap it looks like a spark plug gap push this button and there's a uh, arc of i guess you could say plasma between these two where you could put a cigarette or whatever you want to light then it would light it up now zippo made one that's similar to this where you open it up and you push this button and a little, um, I think it's four points of plasma will light up and you could stick a cigarette there and light it up like so. I prefer the torch flame because the single, you know, torch flame because I think it looks cool. Now, if anyone from Zippo happens to be watching, I think you guys should make one that is similar to this. If you can, I mean, if, if it's something that you guys are interested in to make, that'd be great, uh, like a soft flame one. Because I really like how it, this, at a distance, no one could tell that this is a butane lighter because of the way it lights. I wish Zippo could make something similar to that. And also if Zippo could make one, one of these inserts for a slim Zippo to be, you know, to fit in the Zippo slims. I know Zippo slims are seen as like a ladies lighter. Uh, they're not as popular as these regular ones, but... Uh, I think it would be a viable option if, if there was an insert for a Zippo Slim, especially if it's made by the company itself, I think it would go a long way. Now, with all of that said, my impressions of these of this thing is, is I like it. Um, it is a bit high polished, um, so it's a fingerprint magnet as you can see already, but it fits in here just like it was made for it, you know. <laughs> And the flame is good. It lights up very reliably. I'm I'm glad. Like out the box, it lights up really well, and and it holds the lid shut. So I think I'm gonna give this a go for a while. 
you know, carry it for for some time, and I'll let you guys know what I think of it. And while I'm doing that, you guys could let me know what you think of it of this thing below. Write your comments below if you like it or not. If you like this video, give it. Remember to give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and sharing my video and. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.